So this is my door, my driver door panel that got hit the other night on my college campus. So we found a junkyard that has the same exact door from the same exact Impreza, same exact color that we're going to go pull off tomorrow morning and hopefully we can just throw right back on the car. We're geniuses. Maybe we should have looked at the paint coat a little bit closer because when you step aside a little bit, This is going to be a pretty busy weekend. My daughter Kate's home for the weekend from college and we got plans to switch out wheels and tires on her car. She's got a 2006 Subaru WRX and it's got a set of stock wheels on it, uh, older stock wheels off of 2002 uh, Subaru. We're going to switch those out to uh, a set of Blizzx tires we found on the internet. It looks like these are tuning sport rims. They're just cheap rims that we're just going to use for uh, winter tires. Uh, the Blizzx tires are really nice. They got a ton of, as you can see, a ton of nice tread on them. So these are fairly new, maybe 5,000 miles on them. So we're going to switch those out. Also, while you're at school, what happened to you? Somebody backed into my door, so we have to pick up a new door. Going to hopefully find a new bumper and some... So we plan on doing all that, and she has to go back to school Sunday. What time do you have to head back? Up there by 4, hopefully. She wants to be back, and it's about... 90 minute drive back to school so those are our plans all right so here we go you can see caitlin and i are starting to switch wheels and tires over we're taking the stock 16 inch wheels off the silver one putting those back on the blue one and then putting the tuning sport rims with the blizz x tires on the silver one and you can see caitlin's definitely hustling pretty good switching tire wheels and tires over this fitment's really really close so, uh, hoping once we get the other side on and we drive it i'm not rubbing anywhere yeah. But otherwise, we might have to go in and adjust my coilovers. Yeah, which are probably, <laughs> might be seized up, so it might be hard to adjust them. Oh, yeah, I don't we'll think find they've been out. touched since they got yeah. put on the car. Yeah, we'll, we'll put some penetrating oil on them tonight and let them soak tonight and see if we can adjust them tomorrow, mm -hmm. see if we can get it up. Because I think, we'll, we'll find out if it rubs tomorrow, but they're close. Yeah. Or. We yeah. might be rubbing on my wheel wells. Yep. But we are, we're going to replace these fenders. Yep. Hopefully the we can get a new fender to replace yeah. this one. One of the previous owners, they decided to try and put a wide body kit on it. Yeah. They didn't do a very good job. So I've got empty weld holes with um, two of them have rivet posts and yeah. one started to rust. So I want to get rid of that. Yeah. So we found a U-Pole Auto Parts. Uh, there's another Impreza, same color paint and everything. So uh, fenders are 25 bucks a piece. So we're going to go tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. It's going to be cold in the morning though. Yes, it will. Go figure, it's cold, the truck won't start. All right, got jumper cable in the truck, got the truck fired up now. It's 14 degrees this morning, or uh, probably close to the afternoon, it's about 11 o'clock. Uh, Caitlin and I are off to the U-Pool to grab two funders. A bumper and a door. And then it's 14 degrees outside, and the wind's blowing like crazy, so this should be fun. So we went to the junkyard yesterday. It was super, super cold. We ended up forgetting the tripod and not being able to film because we didn't have anything to prop up our camera with. But we were able to find some super cool stuff, starting with the door. We pulled all of the stuff off of an 07 Impreza. Everything is color matched and tripped the same trim package as my 2006 limited edition. So all of the stuff is going to be matching and we can just swap them straight out of my car. So this door we found, it we got it for a lot cheaper than we were expecting to find a door for. It is the same color. There is no dents and dinks in it. The only thing we really have to do is buff out a um, little bit of just scratches in the paint and then it's good to go right back on the car. We also were able to find this bumper. This is actually a WRX bumper. So this one is also pretty cool because it has a set of fog lights in, in it, which I was actually planning on buying already for my car eventually. And all we need to do to this bumper is just clean it up and get it fitted on the car, which that's awesome find two other really cool items while we were at the junkyard. We didn't realize this when we picked them up. We thought these were some aftermarket taillights, but these are actually going to be stock Subaru 2006-2007 generation taillights. These are in super good condition. We got them for dirt cheap. They were 20 bucks a piece, which is an awesome steal for these guys. Didn't realize this, but they're the same ones I had on the car. So we're going to end up taking them and flipping them on Facebook, make some money off of them. So we were also able to find a set of Impreza seats while we were there. These are the same trim package that is in my WRX. And so these are going to fit and match all of my trim pieces. The seats I have in, they are a set of sport seats. The trim package is a little off from what is in there right now. But 
cool thing about these are there's the same they ha look the same they're identical besides the headrest it's a little bit different and it's adjustable versus a standard um like a racing seat headrest where it doesn't move at all so these are going to go in the car hopefully soon all right so kate and i yesterday switched over the tires these two 215 60 r17s and the result was they rub like crazy we mm -hmm. could barely get around the block it actually kinked up the the fender just a little bit where we hit so mm -hmm. it didn't work I out have, very well i have just about no clearance underneath here so it's scuffing up the inside of my fender so that fender has to be rolled out in order to even roll the mm -hmm. ride the, with these rims on and then uh, a little while ago this morning we did spray the coilovers down yesterday with uh, penetrating oil and we wire brushed them really good cleaned them again today and no deals we couldn't break them free mm -hmm. i'm sure we can I'm sure we can get them broke free, mm -hmm. but we're just limited. Kate has to go back to school this afternoon. Mm -hmm. So we got a couple other projects we wanted to get done before she headed back. Yeah. So the plan is? Rotate all the tires, switch back to the stock uh, Subaru 16-inch rims with all-season tires, and then get started on replacing my door. And I get stuck back with a set of summer tires. <laughs> Your summer tires are going back on the blue Subaru. Uh, for the time all right a little disappointing first problem we ran into this weekend uh blizz x tires were a little bit too tall and we weren't able to adjust the coil over so here we go caitlin and i are going back and switching the stock 16 inch wheels back onto our silver this is cool caitlin's unique method of lining the wheel up with the wheel studs so this is my door my driver door panel that got hit the other night on my college campus we got i got hit right about here dented my exterior panel um, it is something that if I really wanted to, I could pull the door apart, pull it off the car and pop out this panel. But because my paint is chipping, I would end up having to strip the paint and repaint it, which is a lot harder than you think. So my old door with the dent that we're going to be taking off today, my new door that's sitting over behind camera. And this is going to be a really simple process. The only thing we have to do is pull off the four bolts and the door jams. We have to unplug the wiring harness. Replug the new one back in, screw in, rescrew those bolts back in, and realign the door. So, Kayla and I came back from the pull from the U pull yard. We put the new door on. New door went on. Piece of cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, actually, surprisingly enough, the way the screws were tapered and stuff, the alignment of the door was a piece of cake. It took us about two or three minutes to line the door up. Super easy. But in the end, because we're geniuses, maybe we should have looked at the paint coat a little bit closer because when you step aside a little bit, let me step over a little bit, uh, you can see that the car, uh, the door's not the right color. So, Kayla and I now, since the door was so easy to pull off, we're gonna pull the door back off, try to bump the old one out for now. Uh, the paint's gonna look like crap on it. You know, we're gonna chip it all up or whatever, but. I'd rather have matching colors than mismatched panels and it look like garbage. Yeah. So Caitlin is not happy at all right now, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Yeah, just, but, but lesson learned for now on, we're gonna look at paint codes before we pull doors. We didn't have any of the parts of the car there and we just assumed that uh, it was the right color, but. And looking at them in broad daylight, all yep. grays and silvers look the same. Yep, and they look so similar to be honest with you. The parts were sitting right next to the car for two days and we didn't, we didn't know the difference until we bolted on the car. As soon as we put it up against the car, we're like, oh crap. But, so we're back to searching for another door, the right color, or we're gonna bump and paint the other door. But for now, anyway, we're still gonna bump the other door out and make it look a little bit better. So, on to swapping doors again. Quick paint tech tip for Subaru cars. Open up your hood, look at the driver's side strut tower, and you'll see a tag. It'll say at the very top of it, Fuji Heavy Industries LTD. That's your VIN tag. So at the bottom of that bottom left-hand corner, you'll see color code. In our case, it was 48W. 48W translates to crystal gray effect. So don't make the same mistake we did and double check your paint codes before you pull parts. So we didn't get everything done we wanted to this weekend. We got a good amount done, but we still came up short. But we did get my Tuning Sport uh, Blizz X tires mounted up on the car 
and unfortunately, because my car sits so low, they rub on my wheel wells on my fronts, and my coilovers are unable to be adjusted right now. We have doused yeah. them in degreaser and WD-40, yeah. and we've been trying to get them unlocked, and we just can't. So we brushed them, every, everything. So you're gonna let some uh, penetrating oil sit on them for the week and see if we can't adjust them in another week or so. And hopefully yeah. we'll be able to bring up my ride height just a little bit, enough to give me some clearance to run massive um, tuning sport tires. Yeah. Yeah, it's just because they're so tall. What are they? Two... 215 by 60 by R17s. Yeah. 250, 215? Wow. 215 they're, by 60. Yeah, so they're super tall and they do rub pretty bad. But mm -hmm. I think if we uh, adjust the ride height, they'll get the ride height up, you know, eh, maybe a half inch, maybe a little bit more. Mm -hmm. They should be pretty good and stop rubbing. Yep. So we'll get that taken care of. I think that'll wrap it up until, uh, you, at least on this one, mm -hmm. uh, we've until got some other... Time. other videos coming on the blue Subaru and some Corvette stuff coming up. So I'll mm -hmm. uh, look forward to some of our videos coming up in the future. We